Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number 8. And we're going up against an alliance called Elite Dos Campiosis. I have no idea. I probably mangled that. But we're going to take a look at the defense, what I'm going to have to face when I go in here and fight. It's a Saturday afternoon, and... A lazy lazy day so I'm a bit late getting in here all right so no defender on that first node and we've got Medusa on the next node so I normally bring in Warlock Nick Fury and Black Widow Clairvoyant and I'm thinking that Black Widow Clairvoyant should be able to handle uh, that Medusa without too much difficulty we've got Red Hulk here and Red Hulk Strike Counter Fury can be very scary. Uh, however, uh, Nick Fury can take that fight. Um, probably would not go in with uh, my others, but I could. But Nick Fury, I'm thinking, uh, if I need to take that fight. All right, and you can see they already cleared the middle here. And there's no one here to impede our progress to the section uh, section two. Uh, and then we've got Hulkbuster, Black Widow Clairvoyant. We got Guardian, again, Black Widow Clairvoyant. I don't see any reason uh, she can't do those fights. And then we have this Killmonger. And if at all possible, I would avoid fighting Killmonger. I hate fighting Killmonger, um, especially since uh, on this node, you have that buffet. It's very, very annoying. However... Uh, of the people that I usually come in here with, Warlock or Nick Fury uh, can do this fight. So either of those, uh, if I need to take that fight, I would have to boost. All right, and here we got Mini Boss Island. We've got on the left, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Not sure who I would uh, use against him. Probably Warlock. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, can do it as well. Uh, in fact, because of the Rage node here, um, I think I have fought this guy, and Black Widow Clairvoyant was uh, the MVP for that fight. Then we've got Nick Fury, who, if my Nick Fury is still up, can do that fight. Uh, but Black Widow Clairvoyant can also do that fight. Uh, we've got Sorcerer Supreme. Nick Fury can do it. Warlock can do it. Um, I could bring in Black Widow Clairvoyant, but those two, if they're in good shape, would be my choice for that fight. Uh, Warlock especially. And then down here, we've got Man-Thing, we've got, uh, Modoc, we've got Spider-Ham. And we usually have someone on backup that will come in and bring counters for those fights. They'll boost up. And they'll just clear all three. Uh, so I'm usually not asked, but I might be. And if so, uh, Warlock maybe for that man thing. Or Black Widow Clairvoyant stay in poison mode. That MODOK I would avoid like the plague. I don't like that node. Uh, stunning Reflection. Spider-Ham. Uh, Nick Fury can do it. Uh, would have to play a little bit carefully, get his tactical charges up. Uh, since I run suicides, firing off his uh, special one a lot is not something I would like to do. But uh, if I needed to do that fight, that's what I would do. And uh, Hazard Shift that has Dragon Man on it. We usually keep that up, up for a little while. And the person who takes the boss often will take that fight as well. Um, but depends on whether they need that node up or not. All right, so that's the plan. We're going to go in with Nick Fury, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, uh, and we will be right back, and we'll get the fighting started. All right, so here's my team. Standard team, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. All right, so we've already scouted out the paths. I take path three in section one. 
So we're going to go on up there. And of course, they did not place a defender. Uh, that is pretty common. These are easy nodes. So usually they don't place anybody really tough there. Uh, this node in a later war, uh, you're going to see me get wrecked. Uh, but that's not in this war. Here we're fighting a Medusa. And Medusa, as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, used to be a really strong defender. This is one of the reasons that I uh, don't recommend people rank up champions purely for defense unless you already have a strong attack for a Q for um, Alliance War because defenders have a short shelf life. All right, she used to be strong, but you now have many counters to Medusa. Uh, Korg, very strong defender, many counters now. Uh, really, uh, champions that are really difficult to fight usually stay that way for a little bit in the beginning, and then Kabam will come out with champions that counter them pretty well. People will get used to their animations and learn how to fight them. It's the nature of the beast, okay? So as you saw, we were able to take down Medusa pretty easily. I didn't fight that first node, so I'm gonna be fighting this uh, Red Hulk, and I chose to go in with Nick Fury. Now, this Red Hulk is a shadow of the Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk, who I have soloed. So I'm not afraid of this Red Hulk at all. And down he goes. All right, so you know, very easy to fight, not a strong defender. Um, and there are plenty of counters. Uh, honestly, every champion on my team could have taken that uh, Red Hulk, but I like to play it safe, so I go in with Nick Fury. All right, so the middle is clear, and we're gonna be going on to section two. All right, so boom, there we go. Now I've got more energy. Let's continue. All right, so now, unlike section one, I will have to fight someone on these nodes here. It's a little bit more difficult, so it's unusual for them not to place someone here, but we've seen that happen as well. So normally I find Colossus on this node. Black Widow Clairvoyant eats the Colossus up, but... To be honest, she eats up most of the people that are placed on this path. So we've got Hulkbuster. Do not bring a ghost against Hulkbuster. I learned my lesson. See that? He didn't touch me. I got an armor break on me. That's why you don't bring a uh, ghost against him. But Clairvoyant does just fine. So here I'm just baiting out a special one. Uh, you do not want to get hit, by the way. Uh, into your block. Do not block his special attacks. You will not like the results. Um, but as you can see, we were able to take him down. Uh, we did trigger protection, but since he only had one stack, it wasn't too bad. And I could have intercepted to get rid of it, but he was almost gone anyway, and it didn't really interfere too much. All right, so next up, we have got... Guardian. So Guardian, one of the things that I remember when I'm fighting against Guardian is don't fire your specials. So I want to go in here with someone who doesn't really need their specials. And of course, because of the node, you don't want to hit into their block. Well, he likes to auto block. So that's two reasons not to fire your specials. He will auto block your specials and he will, because of the node, um, he will get a lot of uh, Furies, I believe. Um, so that's why you see me here not firing my special one or two. Special three is okay. Uh, that he's not going to auto block. All right. So that's why I just went to a special three and fired that off. No special ones, no special twos. Uh, I could have also done this fight with Warlock. I could have done it with... Uh, by Nick Fury, but I like Claire. 
And if I get hurt, Claire has the ability to at least heal up a little bit. Um, and that has happened. Um, I've had to heal her with like maybe one or two potions and then use her abilities to go ahead and continue. All right, so we had already talked about this earlier uh, and that's why I'm not fighting that Killmonger. All right, uh, early on, uh, I decided, you know, which one I was gonna take and I took uh, the mini instead. All right, so Killmonger is down and now I'm going up against this Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So this is the trade-off. They fought the Killmonger, I'm fighting these minis. So Cosmic Ghost Rider, not difficult to fight. He is on the Rage node and we already know Claire is great for the Rage node. Even if you hit too hard, and they get a Fury, she nullifies it. Now, I don't run Mystic Dispersion. If I ran Mystic Dispersion, oh boy, I think it would be even nastier with Claire. But I run Suicides, and she is nasty with the Suicides. All right, so you see the nodes we're gonna have to deal with. He is not difficult to fight. If you know how to um, evade his special one, just bait that out, keep baiting that out. Special two, at least I am not well versed in evading it completely. I can evade the first part and maybe the last part, but it's an iffy thing. And so I, I prefer not to do it. All right. So you saw me there. I was boosting up and I was thinking and I uh, went and talked to them a little bit, make sure everything was uh, ready. Um, and I was planning to just go ahead and fight all of these minis on the left. And I wanted to make sure it was cleared and I was cleared to do that. All right, so that's why we're sitting here like this for a little bit um, as I'm formulating my, my plan of attack, seeing if anybody else has uh, a counter if they were planning to go in. All right, so here we go. There we are. All right. Uh, we should get going now. Okay. And uh, I do go in here with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, I believe I went in here with Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right. So, yeah. Uh, you can see I'm still boosted. Uh, we just had uh, uh, some good discussion uh, making sure that... Uh, I understood the plan, you know, I was like, okay, so I'm taking these guys, you know, nobody else is taking them. They're not coming in, boosting, expecting to take them or anything like that. All right, so here we go. And as I said, as long as you can evade that special one, you're straight, just look at his power. But we can evade him, so we're good. All right, and so here we go. And I'm looking up there and I'm looking at my health. And I'm like, wait, did I miss something? But I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Um, we are in Curse of Plague. So that kind of controlled his power a little bit, but he is getting off those special ones like crazy. But fortunately, I know how to evade a special one. Uh, and I am really not one to get him to a special two, which he's almost at right now. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, okay, he, he fired a special one. But look at my health. I'm just getting eaten up, okay? And uh, I'm trying to remember what happened. And then here we go with the special two. And I just blocked it, all right? Blocked it because I was like, I don't know what's going on. Um, I went into Curse of uh, Blood to get some health back, all right? So here we go. We evaded the first part and we just blocked the rest, evaded this the last bit of it. All right, we get into that special two, fire it off, got a little bit of health back and took him out. So that was a little bit more dicey than I was anticipating it to be. All right, uh, I was very surprised at the power game, but I think because of the node, um, his buffs last longer. Uh, and so I wasn't 
quite ready for that, but we got him. Okay. Now, because that was closer than I thought uh, it would be, I was like, okay. I was planning on bringing uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant in for this fight. I've taken Nick Fury with Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, before on this node. Uh, but she's too hurt and healing up is very expensive. And so I said, you know what? Let's go in. Nick Fury is good. He still has the life model decoy. And I was kind of hoping that that bug would happen again where he started with the real Nick Fury because that would have been a very easy, short fight. But we didn't get lucky like that again. All right, so uh, I'm not afraid at this point uh, of this Nick Fury. All right, he's unblockable there. It is what it is. You just have to eat it. Uh, and see, he's still unblockable. So I'm trying to uh, get an intercept or wait out his uh, tactical charges. There we go. Now he's no longer unblockable. He went below 15 and I pushed him to a special one. He's unblockable here. And so I'm like, okay, well, we're, we might have to eat another one. And then he catches me, which I hate. It happens because I'm too busy looking up. And then he parried me. And I'm just like, see, this is why I like Nick Fury. Even after all of that, Nick Fury is still in the game. All right, so I got a little worried now fired off my special three, you know, almost out of self-defense, you know, cause I was like, no, we gotta slow him down a little bit. Okay, so I really need, there we go. Got the intercept uh, to get him out of that unblockable. All right, and uh, here we uh, uh, just keep going in. He's unblockable again with a special one, not playing this very well, guys. All right, here we go and just eat it. But now the real Nick Fury is out, and I still don't have him as the real Nick Fury. We still fighting the life model decoy. Okay, so I just pushed him. I fired off a special one, which I usually don't, because I wanted to make sure we had the real Nick Fury out. And see, here he goes, unblockable, and he's wrecking me. And I'm just like, wow. Just played this all kinds of wrong. Uh, if you've watched me play this before, you know I've played it better. All right, we baited out that attack. So we going in, boom. Now he's got his special one. Okay, he went in, we got in, got that opening, finished him off, clutch. Oh man, that fight did not go the way I was thinking it would go. But we did get him down and we got the full attack bonus. All right, now this fight, I have fought her on this node before. And she's annoying on this node. Now, if my Nick Fury had been in better shape, I would have fought this fight with Nick Fury. Uh, and, you know, it should have been really straightforward. Warlock can also do this fight. But as you will see here, I'm a little nervous. And so I'm boosting up with my uh, Warlock. Gave him 150% boost uh, for his power. Um, I can't remember, did I do... Uh, I know I boosted up again with the uh, lesser champion. Uh, I don't remember if I boosted up uh, with his uh, tech attack. I don't think I did. But, you know, I'm boosting up as much as I can here. And uh, the advanced power boost, I like because it gives me a little head start. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna see how things go. All right, so I'm parrying, parrying. I wanna get the infections up as quickly as possible. Help to control her power, all right? So we've got the infection up here, but her power is not under control yet. All right, so here we go. That's her special one and I'm evading a little bit. I need to learn how to evade her special one completely. Uh, that makes this fight much easier. But because I don't know how to do that, um, I'm giving her power. All right, so uh, we got off our special uh, two and we're gonna get off another one, I believe, yep. And now her power is a little bit better under control, all right? Um, here we go. 
Uh, okay, no, I didn't fire off the special uh, two. I decided to wait to a special three uh, in case her power got out of control. That's it. Uh, because as you will see, and she dexed me. Oh my goodness. Um, but as you will see, uh, he has a nasty power drain on his special three. Now she, she fired off her special one. So I wasn't in any danger of her getting to a special three, but I wanted to fire that off anyway to help speed things along. Um, and you can see the power draining away from her, but she's been doing a lot of damage to me. Okay, a lot of chip damage, and our health is about the same at this point. And I'm just like, okay, this is not going quite the way I wanted. All right, now here, um, I should have done a special two, but instead, I wanted to wait it out, and she caught me. I wasn't expecting that unblockable the way it was, and that's why she caught me full. I was blocking, and I sat here stunned. I was like, I had that fight, and then I threw it away. Had it, and threw it away. And so I'm just like, okay, well, we died. It is what it is. You can see my resources here. Don't have that many. And uh, these potions are expensive. So uh, I decided to heal up uh, Nick Fury just a little bit because it doesn't make sense putting him past 30% uh, when he's going to just degen back down okay but i figured nick fury is good enough to take her out all we got to do is parry and go in hard okay um there we go just go in get that bleed and we should be good at this point okay so that was it that was all the fighting i did and it was enough right uh so we'll be back after a short little intermission and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. And what's this? Look at that. Somebody got MVP. Sorry, it doesn't happen very often. So I got to highlight when it does. All right, but that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Click like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.